guys, it's Gothic Soul Flower here. Last video, I did 10 goth cliches that I have, and this time, I'm gonna go ahead and do my 10 ungoth confessions. Now, this tag has been around for two or three years, maybe. It's an old tag, I've just never done it. I decided since I did the 10 goth cliches, I'll go ahead and do the ungoth confessions. So let's get right to it. Number one. Although most of my wardrobe is black, my surroundings are brightly colored and nothing goes together. Nothing matches and it's bright colors. This includes my art. I use color. I use plenty of color and I prefer the colors to black and white as far as artwork goes. In a way it's kind of cool because here I am in black, sitting in my living room around green walls lime green walls. Number two, I have piercings, but I have no tattoos. Not a one. Uh, why is that? I do like tattoos. Well, tattoos that are nicely done. <laughs> we all have seen some shitty tattoos. But tattoos, it's one of those things, when I get extra money, it's tattoos are just the last thing on my mind, so I end up spending it on something else. And to be honest, I don't know if I can rock tattoos. It's not off the table. I do have a tattoo I'm thinking about getting, but I'm not a big rush to get it. And if I die before getting a tattoo, oh well. Number three, I have not been to a golf club in over 15 years. The thing with clubs, I'll go to a store by myself, I'll go to the library, I'll even go to the theater, or I'll go to museums by myself. I have a problem going by myself, but clubs are different. I don't like going there by myself. It's no fun when I'm alone. I haven't been into the club scene in quite a while. I'm becoming more comfortable in the burbs. What can I say? Number four. I am not into horror films. Uh, I do like the psychological thrillers, like The Shining and The Exorcist. And I kind of discussed this with my previous live stream. You know, the gore and the blood and the ripping the bodies and ugh, I guess I'm a little squeamish. Yeah, it's weird, I'm getting older, I'm getting more squeamish in my old age, which is weird because you would think it's the other way around, uh, but no. So yeah, I'm not into, I'm not much into horror films. Number five, I do not read fiction. I used to read fiction, but I just... The books I tend to read are reference books. Yes, I read reference books. I do like reference books. Sometimes I'll read a how-to book and definitely nonfiction. More of the crime and psychology and sociology type books just to study people. I don't get human beings half the time. So yeah, I definitely prefer nonfiction and fiction. Edgar Allan Poe, Anne Rice. I'm not big on fiction books. And that leads to number six. I am not into poetry. I think the only poem that really spoke to me was Phenomenal Woman by Maya Angelou. Other than that, I just I find a lot of poetry just cheesy. Either it's cheesy to me or I don't get it. I've always been that way. I learned poetry in school. It's the same with spoken word. I'm just not into poetry. Number seven. These little tiny beasts are the opposite of my love for black cats, and that is spiders. Oh, hell no! I cannot do spider. Look, I am very aware that this fear is irrational. I'm like 500 times the size of these little things, and most spiders aren't harmful, and I know they're helpful, especially if you have a garden or something. I don't like the way they move. It's just, when I see them just like that, it looks just like that, like a decapitated hand. It looks very similar to the spider. I don't like the way they move. I don't like their eyes. The bigger and hairier they are, the, the more foul they are to me. I am working on this fear though, because it is ridiculous. When I see them scutter across something, this, I mean, my body is just like, ah, no bueno, sorry. Number eight. If I had a choice, I prefer heat to the cold. And this is in contradiction to the stuff I like to wear. The long flowy dresses and the jackets and the scarves. There's a certain point that I'm okay. I wanna say anything under, I'll be honest, 
anything under 40 degrees Fahrenheit, I just start to be uncomfortable. When it gets too cold, I'm the opposite of a lot of people. They get very active in the cold to stay warm. I am useless in the cold. I just want to stay under the covers. I don't even want to shower. I don't even want to get up. I got my cocoon going, got my coffee. And then if Edgar is kind enough to snuggle with me, he does. But yeah, I can't, I, I can't do the cold. Number nine. I like platform shoes, but as far as high heels go, I don't wear anything higher than three inches. And I only have one pair of shoes that's three inches tall, and they are plain black heels that I need to wear for interviews and if I need to look conservative and dress down. My other shoes with a heel, two inches max. I used to wear heels back in my younger days. I don't have a vehicle and I walk too many places, so it's just not comfortable. I have to be comfortable. Number 10, one of my favorite genres of music is gonna be adult contemporary <laughs> pop music from like the early 80s, late 70s. I am talking about Billy Joel. I'm talking about the Alan Parsons Project. This genre has nothing to do with goth. It's an ungoth genre. I know exactly why this type of music appeals to me. This is the music that was playing during my formative years. My mom would be driving in the car and this is what she would be listening to. I would be in the back seat relaxing and thinking and this would be going on. So this type of music reminds me of my mother, reminds me of my childhood. We would drive on the highway, running errands, and I find this music relaxing. A lot of people don't like this type of music. A lot of people have never even heard of this music, especially the younger folks out there. And I, I accept that, that's cool, I understand. It's not the most exciting music, but it's soothing and it brings me to a nostalgic level, which y'all know I like. So anyway, that's it. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you do create videos and you haven't done the Ungoth Confessions tag, go for it. I mean, it's old. I don't even know if people keep track of how old it is or whatever. Eh, do it anyway. So that's it, lovelies. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more from me. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of new videos. TTFN, have a good day.